Retain Gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again with another video, man. Peace, love, and abundance to everybody watching right now. Hey, before we start the video, make sure you guys smash that like button for me. Also, go ahead and follow my second IG at It's DY Live. I'm giving away a free 30-day semen retention guide. All you have to do is go there and DM Retain Gang. All right, this is my gift to you guys, man. So. With that being said, I want to tell you guys the best ways to bounce back from a relapse. A lot of fellas get discouraged. You know, when, when you release your seed, it don't feel too good. Right? And it can mess you up mentally because you put all this time in, all this work in, just to lose all your resources off of one bad mistake or, you know, one situation where you were distracted. You might have got caught up looking at the cheeks on IG. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you get on that app, man, all you see is cheeks in your face. And you got caught up scrolling. Next thing you know, your energy's gone. All right, so I'm going to tell you how to bounce back. So what you guys have to understand is that you're losing resources, a.k.a. vitamins and minerals. So the first thing you want to do is put those back into your body. A mistake that a lot of guys make is you, you try to eat heavy. Put in all these heavy foods. You don't want to do that. You just lost your energy. So to digest a lot of food, it takes your body a lot of time and resources to do that. You want to eat light, right? You want to put in foods that's going to give you back energy, quick energy. So you want to get on your fruits. So one of my favorites is pineapples because not only does it build your testosterone back up, but it's good for your overall health as a man. See what I'm saying? Um, it's an antioxidant as well. And it's quick energy. It's not too heavy. It's not going to take a lot of energy for your body to digest. You can do apples, watermelon. It's even better if you can juice. Right? Because now you're, you're making your body do less work. Go ahead and put some juice in the blender or in the juicer. Now your body is doing less work. You're putting that liquid in your body and it's going to... It's going to give you fast recovery. Okay, that's what we want to do. We want to get this energy back inside of our body quick. Because a relapse is like, is like getting the Sonic coins knocked out of you. You know, if y'all play Sonic, you get hit by the enemy. Your coins all over the place. Sonic blinking. You know what I'm saying? He weak. One more hit and that's it. That's how it feels with a relapse. And if you notice, when he's blinking, right, that means he's vulnerable. So you're blinking too. Your aura is wide open. So now you can be attacked, right? In that moment of a relapse, you're weak because you just lost resources. So now you got to try to scramble and pick some coins up to build that confidence back up, build your strength back up. So this is why we want to put the, the correct foods back inside of our body. You can get you some shilajit. All right. That's also good for your energy. And also it's, it's good for your stomach as well. You want to put those fibers back in your diet. You also want to get some good microbiology back inside your stomach, those enzymes, so that you can support your gut health. I don't know what it is, but every time I, I relapse, it seems like my stomach, I always get IBS or stomach problems. I always start getting sick and it starts in your gut. Okay, because, you know, once your, your energy is lowered, you're powered down. So there's a lot of bacteria and things inside of you that wants to attack you but it can't because your aura is so strong. Your energy is so high. And it's like they wait for that moment where your guard is down to attack. Okay? Um, another thing you guys want to do is double up on your leg workouts. Doing your squats, going for a run, the Stairmaster, lunges, doing leg workouts activates testosterone production. You see? This is what we want to do. We want to balance out our hormones again. When you release, you're losing a lot of your testosterone, right? You shoot it right out. So you got to balance it out again by building that back up. Your body's always already doing the work for you, but you got to aid your body as well. You got to put in the extra work because your body's already pissed off at you. You know what I'm saying? When you release your seed, your body's happy for you because it thinks, oh, okay, we about to pass our genetics. He about to have a baby, start a family. But then they're like, hold on. He, he didn't release in a woman. 
he released in the sock on his sheets. Oh, hold on, bro. What this dude doing, bro? He wasting resources? Oh, nah, bro. We, we got to nah, we gotta do something about that. So your body going to beat you down, too. You know what I'm saying? This is where the brain fog and all that happens because your body's mad at you because you just wasted viable resources. It takes a long time for your body to produce more seed. It takes at least 30 days for all the food that you eat to be converted into your seed. You know what I'm saying? This is why the process takes so long. Because it has to take the food that you eat and create the seed for you. So it's like, man, we, we went 60 days, 30 days, 45 days doing all this work. And this man just released for no reason. And this is where we get into the mindset of respecting ourselves understanding what you have and the value that you have within you you have a treasure boy you'll see you got all type of nutrients in it all type of vitamins and minerals liquid gold right it's very very valuable it's the seed of life so a relapse also to teach you to have more respect for yourself you don't feel good after a release that should tell you something also Knowing, you know, that we're in a spiritual war, you want to protect your energy, protect your aura. And by releasing, you weaken that aura field. You weaken your force field. Like I said before, I, I always usually get sick after a relapse. I don't know what it is. I get a sore throat or just stomach problems. It's always something after a relapse. Even my muscles, it feel like my muscles get, they shrink or they get smaller. They're not as dense. When I'm on a long street, my muscles are dense. Right, they just look full and I don't have to do much in the weight room to get a good pump. Make sure you're taking cold showers. That cold shower is gonna reset your nervous system because you're you're putting a lot of shock on your nervous system when you release. Your whole body's lit up. Right? You guys gotta understand when you when you relapse or when you release your seed in general, man, you're pulling from every resource in your body. Right, it's collecting all of that just like a spirit bomb. Like Goku do the spirit bomb when he sits there and he collects all the energy from nature. It's collecting all the energy inside of your body, right? To be able to give for your offspring to live, to create an offspring. What else am I missing? Oh yeah, make sure you get your omega fatty acids too, like um, like Brazilian nuts or walnuts. It's very, very good for you, right? Because you gotta you losing um, omega fatty acids as well. You have a lot of things in your seed, right? So remember guys, try not to eat too heavy, like at least for the first day of a relapse. Don't eat too heavy. Try to eat light, energetic foods. Stay focused. Keep your mindset positive, right? Don't, don't start thinking negative or start getting mad at yourself. It already happens. You can't take it back. There's nothing you can do. So... Just continue what you're doing. Learn from it. If you got a busy day that day, still operate like nothing happened. You might be a little tired, right? You're going you're gonna to be a little fatigued, but hey, it is what it is. That's your punishment for not being disciplined, for not respecting yourself. All right? Now, I'm not telling you that you got to, you know, hold on to your seat forever, but just know what you're doing. Don't just waste it, guys. That's the worst thing you can do. You know, if you choose to release your energy with your woman or whatever, that's cool, man. But just know what you're doing. I would say if you got a release, do it once a month. No more than twice a month. But that back to back to back, all that, that's killing you. You know what I'm saying? That That's, that's not going to do you any good. So just do your own research. Um... Learn yourself, be your own scientist, experiment on your body and see what works for you. Everybody's not the same. We don't all have the same journey. So I would never tell you that what works for me is how you should live your life as well. Right. I just give my experience on what worked for me and you guys can take it and apply it to your life where you see fit. Make sure you're drinking your water, too. But like I said, fruit juice is better than water. But if you can't really get to that. Just do your water and your fruits. You can even cut up some fruits and throw it inside your water. But the main goal 
the number one way to bounce back from a relapse is to put back those vitamins and minerals. You have to. Okay? And I guarantee you, if you do this, you might not even feel like you relapse because you replaced yourself with good, clean energy. You find yourself in this situation, learn from it, grow, move on, and become a better man. That's all you can do. All right? But we have to stop killing ourselves because that's what you're doing. It's a slow death. Because slowly you're stripping the nutrients from your body, from every organ, from your brain, from your skin, from your muscles, your tissue. Okay? And we don't want to do that, guys. It doesn't benefit us in any way. And if you're truly a man who wants to become the best version of himself, you can't do that with a drained battery. You need to have 100%. Right? You need to be at your best. You need to have all the energy you can to really ignite your goals and to create your reality, man. You have to. I've been doing this for over eight years. I'm telling you guys, I've been through every situation. And when I relapse, I'm never at my best. It's almost like um, it slows me down, man. It's like I got to catch back up. Like I'm not on my game. I'm not as sharp. I'm not as, as quick and, and witty as I usually am. I'm not as creative. So, you know, just take it from me, but also take it from your own experience, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section if it's something you want to add. Let me know your experience with a relapse and how you bounce back. All right. With that being said, make sure you guys, if you're interested, join the Retain Gang, man. This is a safe space for you to build with like-minded people and to become the best version of yourself. I have a lot of content, some classes and courses. We do weekly discussions and QAs. So... Hey man, tap in, solidify your membership now. If you need to speak with me, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. So I'll leave a link in my description and in my pinned comments for everything. Y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out. About to hit this gym.